Hello and welcome to Chips and Salsa. I'm Jerry. I'm Krobe. Hey, Jerry. Hey, Krobe. Hey, Jerry. Do you know what time it is? I think so. It's Patch Tuesday! (laughs) Yes, it's Patch Tuesday yet again. And this month, Intel is releasing 31 advisories addressing 77 vulnerabilities. That's right. Continuing on with the trend of internal security investments paying dividends back, 46 of these vulnerabilities, which equates out to 59%, were discovered and mitigated as part of Intel's proactive efforts in product security assurance. Yes, and we'll be talking about our upcoming Intel product security report in the coming weeks, where looking at internal versus externally reported issues, these advisories fall in line with the trends that uh, we've seen over the last several years. So stay tuned for more information about the product security report coming later in February. Oh boy, I can't wait. But let's talk about today's security advisories, Jerry. We have broken them up into three categories, firmware, network connectivity, and software. Um, Do you wanna kick us off with the firmware updates, Jerry? Absolutely. In the firmware category, we have six advisories. And as you can see on the slide, the CVEs being addressed range in CVSS score from low to critical this month. Um, there are no power or performance impacts observed from any of these uh, remediations. Several are related to products that utilize Intel SGX, and those will be called out as we get to those particular advisories. Most of these are fairly straightforward, though, uh, but we will call out some specifics on a few of them. Bro. Yeah, we'll start off with Intel SA00717, our BIOS advisory for this month. This includes seven CVEs ranging from low severity up to high, three of which were found internally. All the issues were resolved around um, a potential specialist, revolve around a potential specialist with local administrative privileges using local operating system access to potentially impact confidentiality, integrity, and availability, all at high levels, through an escalation of privilege um, using local code execution in the BIOS. Each of these CVEs impacts slightly different platforms, and the attacks are different in their execution, but all are corrected by applying the provided BIOS updates. And Intel SA00718 affects the Intel Server Platform Services, or SPS, with two patch CVEs. Uh, Both of the vulnerabilities would allow for escalation of privilege through local access. Affected platforms and SPS firmware versions where mitigations are available are detailed in the advisory. Mm -hmm. And our next advisory for this month is related to Intel SGX, Intel SA00730. This vulnerability affects third generation Intel Xeon scalable processors and is addressed through microcode. This microcode patch can be OS loadable and this update does not require a microcode security version or SVN update to address the vulnerability. Please refer to the uh, advisory and the Intel SGX attestation technical details with links provided that talk about the SGX TCB uh, recovery process. Yeah. Next, uh, we're going to talk about Intel SA00737, the integrated BMC and open BMC firmware advisory. This advisory addresses five CVEs ranging from 4.5 up to that one that is a 10.0 on the CVSS, CVSS severity scale. These issues collectively either pose a denial of service or an escalation of pr- privilege with CVE 2021-39296 uh, being an issue where an unskilled user with user authentication via network access can potentially impact confidentiality, integrity, or availability through escalation of privilege via remote code execution by means of an authentication bypass in OpenBMC within the uh, management engine uh, slash BMC. Uh, So this is being scored at a 10.0. This issue was discovered and addressed upstream and Intel recommends updating integrated BMC firmware to versions 2.86, uh, 2.09, and 2.78 or later. 
and updating OpenBMC firmware to versions 0.72, WHT-1.01-61, or EGS-0.19, or later. Details about this and all the other uh, address CVEs are in the advisory. Mm -hmm. Yes, so next up is Intel SA00738. This is the second security advisory this month that impacts SGX. In this advisory, a skilled user with local administrative permissions via the BIOS, which can be achieved with a local operating system or physical access, can potentially impact confidentiality and or integrity at high levels um, of SGX through escalation of privilege by means of an incorrect memory configuration on some Intel Xeon processors. Intel is releasing firmware updates to mitigate this potential vulnerability. Now, for the affected Intel Xeon D processors listed in the advisory, please update the BIOS and microcode to the latest versions linked in that Intel Xeon D processor post-launch release one document. Now, we want to caution you, there is a known issue downguarding BIOS or microcode on systems that have SGX enabled. When the uh, IPU 2023.1 microcode update is applied, the BIOS must also be updated to the IPU 2023.1 version. If the microcode is updated to 23.1 version and the BIOS is not, the system will hang if SGX Intel Software Guard extensions are enabled. Now, with Intel SGX enabled, if the BIOS is downgraded from the 23.1 version to an older version on Ice Lake, uh, BIOS, uh, the BIOS microcode update from IPU 23.1 is not present, the system will hang. And to recover from the system hang, the system should conduct a warm reset or be power cycled, and Intel SGX should be disabled through a BIOS knob to enable a successful boot. And then to re-enable Intel SGX, um, the microcode and BIOS should be updated to be compatible, and then the Intel SGX can be re-enabled after that power cycle. All these steps are documented along with the provided guidance on how to update microcode and uh, perform that flash to the uh, correct firmware interface table entry point one. And all this is detailed within the advisory. So please uh, thoroughly review the advisory and also, there's a document, Intel SGX Attestation Technical Details, that talks about the Intel's TCB recovery process. And all of these links are provided within the advisory. Yeah, so bottom line, for SGX customers, make sure that the uh, BIOS and microcode updates uh, are the ones listed in the advisory. And they need to be updated together, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and our last firmware advisory is Intel SA00767. The vulnerability being addressed here is where a skilled user with local administrative privileges via local operating system access can potentially impact confidentiality of Intel SGX through escalation of privilege by means of mapping the X APIC page into an enclave accessible page due to improper isolation of shared resources. Uh, and this is in some Intel processors. Uh, so check the advisory for those details. Um, and just like SA00738, Intel also recommends following the steps documented in the advisory to update the microcode uh, located in the platform flash designated by uh, firmware interface table, or FIT, what we call FIT, entry point one. Uh, detailed steps on the microcode loading points can be found in the advisory. So to address this potential vulnerability, an SGX TCB recovery will be required. So as Krobe mentioned, uh, you can see the advisory for the link to those details. Right. Let's move on to our next category, Jerry. Connectivity. Um, and this deals with all things network and communications. We have four advisories in this section. Overall, the advisories address issues where there could either be a denial of service or escalation of privilege through the local access. All of these issues have been remediated either through a software update or a firmware update. So please consult the individual advisories for affected products, versions impacted, and if there are any specific update instructions for the software or firmware. And moving on to the software category where we have 19 advisories. And let's start off with Intel SA00674, the Intel One API Toolkits Advisory. 
there are 12 moderate severity CVEs uh, remedied as part of this update and all were found by Intel engineers. Um, there are potential security vulnerabilities in some Intel One API toolkits that may allow escalation of privilege and Intel is releasing a software update to mitigate these potential vulnerabilities. Mm -hmm. uh, following that is our next to last SGX related update this month, Intel SA00677. This advisory addresses two low severity CVEs, both of which could lead to information disclosure. The affected products are Intel SGX SDK software for Linux before version 2.16.100.1 and the Intel SGX SDK software for Windows before version 2.15.100.1. Updates are available for affected customers and they should upgrade to the latest versions of the Intel uh, SGX SDK. I'll jump out of order a bit to keep the SGX items together. We have one additional advisory, Intel SA00746. This is the crypto API toolkit for Intel SGX advisory. The vulnerability being patched could exploit improper access control in the Crypto API Toolkit for Intel SGX before version 2 uh, commit ID 91EE496 and may allow an authenticated user to potentially enable escalation of privilege via local access. We're releasing toolkit updates to mitigate these potential vulnerabilities. Okay, and the balance of these issues ranging in CVSS severity from low to high are uh, software updates, and we recommend customers review those advisories for those products that they're using. Right. And we recommend that customers uh, look for updates from their equipment manufacturer's website. Uh, for uh, more details, here's a link to the page on intel.com that has links to many OEM support sites. And with that, Jerry, I think that is a wrap for the February Patch Tuesday updates. <laughs>